Hello, I'm Zoe Metcalf, your Police, Fire and Crime Commissioner for North Yorkshire and York. In this video, I will explain how my Fire and Rescue Plan sets out the strategic development of North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service over the next two years to achieve our vision for an exemplary fire and rescue service that helps you to be safe and feel safe. My plan is built on feedback you gave me during my campaign and the consultation run by my office in 2021, when they were engaged with over 3,500 of you and over 2,000 of you responded to the survey, as well as the strategic risk and business need assessments from the service. My team and I worked hard to develop this plan. It gives a huge amount of detail about the situation we are in today, the challenges we face tomorrow and how we propose to change to ensure our fire and rescue service can keep North Yorkshire and York safe and feeling safe in the years ahead. In my plan, our vision is underpinned by four overarching principles that sets out what I believe is an exemplary service based on what you have told me and my ambition for North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service in the longer term. These principles will be realised through the achievement of the five public priorities for change, which reflect your priority areas for improvement from my consultation and which detail the outcomes we can realistically expect North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service to deliver against in the next two years. Business delivery plans brought forward by the Chief Fire Officer will set out how the service and my office will deliver against these outcomes and I will hold them to account for their progress against these. In everything you told me during my election campaign and through the consultation, these four principles stand out for what makes an exemplary fire and rescue service, how they care for and protect people, how they go beyond partnership work to collaborate strategically to join up services, how they realise the potential of all their people as an organisation and how they deliver the best possible service to the public. Vulnerability comes in many different forms and has many different impacts. It is vital our fire and rescue services understands what makes people vulnerable and in need of their services and to work to prevent that vulnerability turning into harm. Prevention must be at the core of everything we do and that of the organisation and the way it works. This means enhancing the role of the service in achieving wider public safety and taking a more proactive role in leading partnership activity around primary prevention. Collaboration is about more than partnership work. It is about actively seeking to join up services to overcome our core problems and to increase the fire and rescue services contribution to broader society by applying their skills and insight to wider issues, such as tackling violence against women and girls. Moreover, in times of continuing financial constraints, truly strategic collaboration to pool our resources, co-fund services and share business functions, estates and assets is the only way we will be able to reinvest in frontline services. Realising the potential of our people is integral to delivering the best possible services to our communities. They need the right people in the right place at the right time, with the right skills and equipment and an inclusive and open culture that helps them flourish. Servicing the largest county in England has its challenges and I will fight for the funding, the service needs, but the service must also drive efficiency, align its resources to risk in our area and change the way we work to deliver the best value for the public pound. In all of this, the Fire and Rescue Service must put the public that they serve first and do everything they can to enhance the public's experience when they interact with them. They must be accessible and engaged, present when they are needed most and able to provide the care asked of them. I expect North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service to embed these principles in everything they do and consider them in the development of all new initiatives as the core benefits they should be striving to achieve. They are not department specific 
but applicable to all areas of the service and all areas should be looking at how they are contributing to achieving these principles. Based on your feedback, I have defined five priorities for what we can realistically expect North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service to deliver against in the next two years. My first priority is for the service to actively engage with all communities to identify need and risk and to reassure. This priority is about really understanding our communities to identify the underlying causes of vulnerability that require their intervention and to deliver the services that are required to prevent harm occurring, helping us to feel safer. I expect to see the service improving their presence in communities with greater accessibility and choice for contacting and engaging with them. And I expect to see an increase in target of interventions and a greater diversity of services offered in different communities. My second priority is for the service to work jointly as a trusted partner to prevent harm and damage, intervene early and solve problems. This is about building from the understanding developed through Priority 1 to meet the needs of our communities, bearing in mind that the Fire and Rescue Service is one cog in a wider system. A whole system approach is the most effective way to tackle problems and resolve underlying causes of vulnerability. It is also more likely to resolve issues quicker and ensure they do not re-emerge. I expect the service to embed this approach and to make prevention and protection services the core elements of their operating model. My third priority is for the service to deliver the right people, right support every time. To care effectively for people and to deliver their services in the most efficient way so they can help as many people as possible. The Fire and Rescue Service have to have the right people with the right training, skills and equipment in the right place at the right time to provide the right intervention. And I expect the service to ensure they have the people in the place to deliver more prevention work across the area, especially in places where there is a greater risk. A new model is needed to make the on-call model fit for the future and I expect the service to develop and begin to implement this as quickly as possible. My fourth priority is for the service to maximise efficiency to make the most effective use of all its available resources. This is about efficiency and effectiveness of the overall organisation as a business to save time and money to reinvest in delivering frontline services. I want to see the service thinking carefully about how they best use their fleet, estate and technology and how they help their people to be as productive as possible. I expect increased collaboration to share estate, assets and technology and I want to see increasingly integrated services with partners, for example co-funding an expanded public safety service. My fifth priority is for the service to enhance positive culture, openness, integrity and public trust. North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service is a trusted service, an excellent platform from which to build a transparent, inclusive and positive culture that embraces and welcomes diversity. The Chief Fire Officer will bring forward a business delivery plan to set out how they will deliver against these priorities and I will hold them to account for their progress through my public accountability meetings and governance structures to assess where the additional focus or effort is required. I will also continue to engage extensively with you to understand how you perceive their progress with regular perception surveys, advice surgeries and public events. I am already acting on your feedback and putting in place key pieces of work to deliver on your priorities. I've invested in the capacity of our Fire and Rescue Service to manage and drive transformation and approved a programme of transformative work to help make the service fit for the future. This includes improved capability and making the service better value for money. As part of this, 
a fundamental review of the service's operational model is underway, with proposals being consulted on for the new risk and resource model, which will help to realign the service to focus on prevention and improve the on-call model. I have approved a new diversity, equality and inclusion strategy and improvements to the service recruitment processes. I am also reviewing with a view to expand the public safety service, which has proved very successful in a pilot in Craven. This service combines police and fire services together to better support our harder to reach rural communities. And I have developed a new partnership strategy to tackle violence against women and girls. And that has set joint objectives across all local statutory partners. And this includes our fire and rescue service. You can read my full fire and rescue plan on my website. Thank you all for your contributions that have helped develop this plan. And I hope this video has helped explain the changes you can expect to see over the next two years.